Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Calubrids. A beautiful warm day out here in South Florida. Now I know, up north a lot of you guys are starting to get cold weather, but not here. Perfect, perfect day to show you some snakes. Now on the way home, my fiance wanted some Starbucks, so I figured I'd get myself a cup so I can make a toast to you guys, get myself in the mood for this video, because I got a lot of stuff to show you, so here's to you. So this video is a video I'm so excited to do. I'm gonna show you all of my Okatees from this season that I produce. They're available. I'm gonna start contacting everybody who was on my waiting list, making them available. They're just amazing looking. Now I have two clutches, one from Paprika and Riddler, and one from Pumpkin, my reverse Okatee, my reverse Abbott Okatee, and Riddler, so the same sire but two different parents, beautiful girls, beautiful babies. So I'm gonna start off with Paprika's Clutch, which only had three good babies. I believe it was like seven eggs, the rest were slugs, and then a couple of eggs went bad. So three were only good, beautiful babies. And then Pumpkin, I believe, has 14 good babies. So we got a lot of snakes to show you. I wanna wake one more toast to you guys on this beautiful day. I'm gonna go inside and get the first baby. I'll be right back. guys I'm gonna be showing you baby number one I'm already excited just looking at these babies they're so calm so beautiful so here's baby number one all right guys so this is baby one beautiful beautiful male this is a male I just sexed them last night and this is from paprika and Riddler's clutch everybody loves paprika and this is one of her beautiful babies. Pairing Paprika and Riddler produce some of the nicest extreme Abbott's Okatees that I've ever seen. Just beautiful, beautiful snakes they produce. And so when I breed extreme Abbott's Okatees, this is the look I'm going for. Those nice maroon saddles and thick, thick black border surrounding them. If they're thin, they wouldn't be extreme. So I'm trying to get the thickest black borders around those saddles. And this is really, really beautiful. Towards the tail, solid black. And as these, and as these age and get bigger, those saddles get even more intense with the black. So these turn out looking amazing as they age. Now I have one potential holdback from Pumpkin's Clutch, which I'll show you later. And I wasn't planning on holding any back from Paprika's Clutch. Last season I held back Burmese, my female, and it was Ramsey's, the male. Two beautiful Extreme Abbott's Okatees. So I don't know, I might hold back one more male that's really extreme like this. I might. I might not, I might make them available. Nonetheless, let me show you the next baby from this clutch. All right guys, so take a look at baby number two. This is a female. Her bands are really nice and spread out. The black borders around the saddles are not as thick as on baby one but still really, really beautiful. Let me give you a close up look. And this girl, a little bit more shy than the other two in the clutch, but 
she is a female, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I hope nobody gets mad at me for saying that. But this girl is really, really pretty. A drop smaller than the male that I just showed you. And she's just hanging out in my hand, looking like a tree boa. But this is a female, and this is actually the only female in that clutch. There was two males and one female. You can see towards her tail, the saddles are really black. And there's a look at her nice belly. And I'm going to put her back. I just sexy, so maybe that's why she's a little bit on edge, but overall she's fine and uh, she's a great eater, loves to eat. And that's baby number two from Paprika and Riddler's Clutch. Alright guys, take a look at this beautiful male from Paprika and Riddler's Clutch. This is baby number three. Really nice thick blacks around those saddles towards the tail. Really, really nice black saddles. Nice coloration on this guy's skin tone. Now I'll give you guys a nice look at how this snake looks. Hard to show some of these babies, they're so small. And I'm trying to get them on camera for you, so it's a little bit tricky. But you can see how nice this male is. And he's pretty calm. He has a nice, slightly lighter skin tone than the other two. A really nice contrast with those super dark maroon saddles with the black surrounding them. And that's baby number three. Alright guys, I'm so excited. I got that coffee in my system. After the video, I'm gonna go get a nice lasagna, buy some coffee beans at the specialty shop. It's gonna be amazing. I just got to show you Paprika and Riddler's Clutch. Out of all the corn snakes, they have so many different types, but just a wild type. Extreme Abbott's Oka Tea is my favorite. They're just so beautiful, so calm. They love to eat. Now I'm gonna be showing you my next Oka Tea Clutch. Pumpkin and Riddler. Pumpkin is a reverse at Abbott's Oka Tea, which is Amel. So she has a totally different color. So I wanted to see before breeding these. Paprika versus Pumpkin's Clutch. The difference in the babies. And they definitely look different. So let me get you the first baby from that clutch. I'm so excited to show you guys. guys this is baby number one from pumpkins clutch with Riddler and look how beautiful these babies are now you know what I'm in love with this clutch I'm not gonna compare the two clutches you guys could see for yourself which one you like better and this one is a male just really 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 extreme and these have a lighter skin tone than Paprika's clutch, and I, I believe that's due to Pumpkin being het email, gave the skin color a lighter color, just beautiful. Look how bold that head stamp is, just such a beautiful snake. And when these came out of the egg, I, I could tell right away they were gonna look a little bit different than Paprika's babies. 
and they just look a little bit lighter and because of that the markings seem to look a little bit more bold and I'm surprised how extreme these guys came out the tails are solid solid black I could only imagine what these are gonna look like as adults now these are super calm easy to hold when you're showing them on camera, it's a little bit more difficult because I have to angle them in certain ways for you to see them, but when I'm just holding them, really, really calm snakes. And the pattern on this one is amazing. Again, this is a male, and this is baby number one. Guys, I want you to look at baby number two. This is a female. Towards the tail, almost totally solid black saddles. The coloration on this one is just amazing. It almost doesn't look real. The extremeness of the black around the saddles is so, so intense, especially for a snake of only three months of age. Now I said I wanted to see what these will look like as adults. Now this is a female, female number two, and I'm probably gonna hold this female back for myself. This is probably the most extreme girl in the clutch. Just a beautiful, beautiful girl. I think she would be amazing to add to future, future breeding projects. Plus, I just wanna see what they look like as adults. Now the beautiful thing about this clutch, they're all het for email, so you could pair two of these, get a mixed clutch of normal extreme abitocates and amil reverse abitocates, or you could pair these with the reverse abitocate and you'll also get a mixed clutch. So that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And the lightness in the skin tone, just something different, just beautiful. And that's baby number two. The last thing I did want to note about baby number two, this was a late bloomer. The, the saddles were solid black after all the other babies in the clutch already started coloring up those saddles with maroon. This one maintained the black saddle, so I was like, wow, maybe it'll just stay that way. But a couple of weeks later, it shed out and I started to see the maroons come in and basically that just meant it was going to be really really extreme give you guys a nice look at that belly beautiful snake right here So now this is baby number three, which is the male, has those nice bold markings. A slight break in one of the saddles gives it a little uniqueness, but a beautiful, beautiful baby. So now take a look at baby number four, looking really nice and bold. Extreme blacks around those saddles and a real calm temperament. Just a beautiful girl. So take a look at baby number five baby number five this is a male and this guy is really really extreme look at that tail it's like a solid black saddled snake now still developing color so it might maroon up a little bit but this guy is just an amazing baby he would make an amazing breeder in the future I can imagine what he's gonna look like in the future just an amazing baby real calm baby number five. Oh yeah <laughs> I can't believe how beautiful these snakes are look how extreme this guy is Wow beautiful belly this guy's probably this guy's just about as extreme as baby number two that I'm considering holding back just a little bit smaller Wow
baby number six from Pumpkin's Clutch. This is a female. Kinda has like a little jaguar pattern going on. Now this is a close-up view on camera, hard to see, but when I hold her and see her in her entirety, it kinda reminds me a little bit of a jaguar. And it's not really showing up on camera the way I was seeing it when I was sexing them, but I was like, wow, that looks like a Jaguar a little bit. Nice head stamp. The head stamp on this girl, a little bit different than on the others. Really nice. Almost looks like a C with a dagger on the bottom. Nice, extreme, extreme girl. A little bit of graying on the side. Still coloring up, and I don't know exactly what they will look like as adults, but I can't wait to see because they are just gorgeous right now. So now going back and forth outside, handling the snakes one by one takes a lot of time so we're gonna look at a couple of these babies in the rack this is baby number seven which is a female and she has a really bold marking to her really nice unique pattern one of the nicest babies in the clutch nice undertones of color knocking down frozen thawed Now this is beautiful baby number eight. This is a female and she's got a little feistiness to her, but once you get her in her hand, she calms down and she's a joy to handle. Now baby number nine is a male with an interesting looking head stamp and a nice temperament. All right, guys, this is baby number 10, and this is a female, just an amazing looking female. And something besides how extreme she is that I love is her head stamp. Look at that amazing looking head stamp, totally unique. The only one in the clutch, I think, with a head stamp exactly like that, so it really, really stands out. And an elongated band by her neck the blacks around each saddle really really prominent and extreme towards the tail you see a little aberrant look to it another amazing baby this clutch really really amazing and i'll definitely be pairing riddler with pumpkin again this year these babies are crazy and this will be the second year pairing them so we might get an even bigger clutch I just love this girl's head stamp. So that's baby number 10, and that's a female. So this is baby number 11, deep, deep in shed. So I'm not gonna take them out. It is a male, pretty nice extreme looking pattern, but you can't really see the colors too much since he's about to shed. Baby number 11. This is baby number 12, and that's a female. Nice and extreme, nice look to it. And I like that head stamp. It almost looks like a C. And that's a female. So this is baby number 13. And this is a male. This guy has a really nice, unique pattern to him. Those two markings remind me a little bit like a puzzle. Connect the dots. Nice bowl towards the tail. Really, really nice head stamp and just a calm snake. Really, really calm snake. The sides just look amazing on this little guy. Oh yeah. So I sexed all of these babies last night. And if you wanna know how I sex my babies, I use one of these probe kits. Now this is vital if you're looking to sex babies, especially for the first time. Now this, <laughs> if you can see it, this is the probe that I use for these babies. The smallest size, 
and it goes all the way to this bigger size. Now, now this would probably be good for like a ball python. And if you're talking about an adult corn snake, something like that probably would be good for an adult corn snake or even one size smaller. Now, this is a good illustration when you probe on each side, there's a little gland duct. You stick the probe in, and if it only goes in one to three scales, it's a female, and if it goes all the way in, see this is a male, this is a female, the male, it goes all the way deep, deep, and that'll tell you if it's a male or a female. And normally what I do, I go in the bathroom, see a lot of people get pooped on and musked when they're popping, their snakes when they're trying to sex them you just take the snake and then roll up and if it's a male you'll see the hemipenes now you'll get pooped on a lot so I go I put warm water running in the bathroom I do it over the sink and I hold the cloaca area under the running water and they usually just go to the bathroom under the water it just flushes away and then I pop now, if I see hemipenes come up, I know it's a male right away. I don't even waste my time uh, probing. I'll put the male away, keep sexing, keep sexing. And when I do get a female, I don't see any hemipenes. I'll try a couple times and then just to make sure, then I'll probe. With the males, it's easy. You usually just see it right away. Sometimes you won't see hemipenes. They just hide them inside. They tuck them away. You just can't get it out. So to probe just to make sure and it's really easy but it takes a little bit of time to get used to I remember the first time I tried probing a snake I mean popping a snake is what they call it I just couldn't do it I thought I was gonna hurt the snake so I wasn't applying enough pressure but after you do it about 10 to 15 times it just becomes pretty easy so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I still have my Het Palmetto Clutch that I gotta give you an update video on as well. Pearl and Cactuses Clutch, which are the snow babies. Very, very hard to show those on camera. They're light pink, so when I show them to you, it's gonna almost flush out if I take you out in the sunlight. So I'll try and get the right shadowing to show you those colors. Very hard to do nonetheless. I got to show you these two beautiful clutches today and I'm going to the beautiful, beautiful market. It's a specialty market. They have a lot of Italian stuff, cheeses, meats, all different things. I'm gonna make my own lasagna tonight. Fresh mozzarella all the time. I don't use any of that rubbery mozzarella fresh. I'll make my own sauce with a, a meat mixture. I also use spicy and sweet Italian sausages. Chop them up real, real thin, put them in there. I'll put some nice cheeses in there. Layers and layers and layers. It's just amazing. So I'm gonna head there now. I might even get some coffee beans. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments. I'm heading to the store and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, lasagna. He's going through the bloodstream. I'm gonna start off with a uh, pa a pa pa a pa. The black borders around the saddles. <laughs> she just tagged me. The black border and Riddler's clutch. <laughs> uh, now I want to show you her belly. 